right back after these messages. So let's talk about what makes a radio show enjoyable. I'm Jose Imbert for Radio Transversal, a product of Broadcasting Europe and funded by Erasmus. What makes a radio show enjoyable? A radio show is enjoyable for many different things, some of which you don't control, but a lot of which you actually do control, and those are the ones that we're going to look at today. So the things that are within your control, let's go ahead and list them. So number one, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, smile. People can actually hear your smile. And let's face it, nobody wants to sit down to hear a radio show or a podcast with somebody that sounds like this, because that would be depressing. So smiles actually count, and they count a lot. Make sure that your listeners enjoy listening to you. Topic. Now, if you have a whole radio show, that means that you probably have a theme. So then, after you have that theme established, you're probably going to be diving into different topics. Make sure that these topics, at the time that you select them, are current, enjoyable, but most importantly, that you can really and knowledgeably talk about it. That's going to make your content good and very enjoyable. Another point that you really control is the dynamic that you have within your show meaning with your co-host or with your guests. Granted, if you're doing a solo show, it sort of falls back on that first tip that we gave you on smiling. If not, then the rapport that you have with your co-host or your guests is really going to make a difference and could really be something that makes your show enjoyable. There's nothing that people love more than two people that get along and have fun doing it. Now, another thing that you do control is also the pace of your conversation. But within the pace, there's one thing that you really want to be careful. And that's with dead air. That could be your worst enemy and that could really kill the mood of your show. So what is dead air? Dead air is basically that really awkward silence that either ensues after a joke and people are done laughing or if you forget what you're going to say. So avoid dead air because those gaps could really break the experience for your listeners and they'll really affect the enjoyability of your show. I'm Jose Inbert and this was Radio Transversal for Broadcasting Europe, a project of Erasmus. See you next time.